absolutely get it right from the beginning. You know, you need to get your documentation right, outline your terms of trade right at the beginning, make sure that your invoices match your delivery notes, really, really basic stuff so that there's no conflicts with the uh, customer when you come to chase payment. And of course, when you chase payment, make sure that you chase on time, do it through the proper systems and processes, and you know, use all contacts within the business that you can to make sure that maybe you get paid a little bit ahead of some of the other people that have supplied into that company. There are lots of tips, but I think the two things I would emphasise to them, one is be efficient about collecting your debtors. So don't you have to worry about the admin side of your business and make sure you get the money from people who owe you on time. Uh, that's the cheapest way of getting cash. Then you don't have to borrow it, you don't have to pay interest. Secondly, look out for, uh, there are lots of schemes around, particularly a lot of government schemes where you can get loans, or you can get cheap cash, or you can get uh, grants as well. So investigate those thoroughly too. My cash flow tips, I think the, the, the greatest one is, is just about certainty. You absolutely need certainty to, in relationships with banks, uh, relationships with debtors and, and, and suppliers. Certainty is the, the, the critical thing. So, for example, with suppliers, we, we negotiate very robustly and we try to get extended credit terms wherever possible. But what we guarantee is that we will pay them on time every time. Um, that's a little bit of a mantra, on time every time, is something that we are very, very keen on at Baxter Freight because it allows us to uh, really develop strong relationships and when we require additional capacity, as, for example this time of year when you know, the shops are stocking up for Christmas for example, uh, there can be a real shortage of supply in the freight business. Our suppliers know that we, they will be paid to terms and therefore we, we, we can command much of that additional capacity as and when we require it. I think number one is uh, cash flow tip is to make sure that you know what's going on and be absolutely ruthless and rigorous in, in your planning. Um, within that, I think it's essential, particularly when you're small, to plan for the very worst case scenario. Not assume that that client's going to pay on time, not assume that you're going to continue to get the orders coming in at the same rate as you've had them before. Um, so firstly, to plan um, and secondly, to plan on a, on a conservative basis. And then the second thing really is to keep a really sharp eye on what's happening with your customers. In some businesses, obviously, customers pay as they go along, in which case you don't need to worry too much about um, credit control. But in businesses where they're paying in arrears, uh, then that's something you need to keep a really careful eye on.